coming up on The Good Life, we're in the kitchen with Chef Isabella Morgia de Vicari. Learn how to prepare a delicious and healthy meal that is perfect for summer. That's coming up on The Good Life. Welcome to The Good Life, viewers. I am Barbara Beck, and I hope you are hungry today because look where I am. I'm excited to be in the kitchen with one of our favorite chefs and cooks and friends, chef and author Isabella Morgia de Vicari. Welcome back to The Good Life. Grazie, Barbara. Oh. <laughs> you know, when we come into somebody's home, we always kiss and hug them. That's true. All right. That's true. And we it, just missed the both cheek kiss. That's, I didn't want to run the that. lipstick. That was the only reason why, guys. I want you to know that right now. <laughs> Isabella, viewers, is going to to show us how to prepare a delicious summer meal that is not only light and healthy, but is delicious. So thank you for coming back again. And we are in the cooking mode, even though it's summer. A lot of times people take off cooking for the summer, but tell us why we don't need to be doing that. Well, first and foremost, the dish that we're going to be creating today is light and nutritious. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can make ahead of time. Oh, so good. as a matter of fact, in the hottest part of the day, all right, we don't have to worry about being in the hottest part of our home in front of the stove. Right. All right, so how wonderful to make this ahead of time. Mm -hmm. This is a dish that you're going to want to make, keep in the kit in the refrigerator. This is a dish that you're going to want to take to the picnic with you. Oh, good. This is something you want to take to an open house. Mm -hmm. When someone invites you to their home, Barbara, what is it that we do? Do we ever go empty-handed? We always take something. You always yes. take something. And right. you know me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to say don't revert to the standard thing. Yeah. Because if I love you and you know I do, I'm going to show you how much I love you by making this for you. Right. And it is an expression of it, your it love for us. It absolutely is. And you know, we forget that, Isabella, that it's also an expression of love for our families. And yeah. as much as we're all so busy and we don't want to be cooking all the time, it really does show our families how much we love and care but for absolutely them. Absolutely, Dem. I just moved this because I want okay. this to uh, heat up for us because okay. we're going to steam this. Barbara, by the way, let's talk about the odors. Would you just drizzle that? I will um, drizzle with, a little, and little then olive I want oil. You. Barbara, let me give you a real spoon, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I, you know, you know my drizzling yes. versus your drizzling. Dr Barbara, there you, you go. You just tell me when one to stop. Turn. Okay, Bet one turn. Oh, my turn. goodness. Viewers, let me tell you exactly what we've got going on here, because this is a really, really important. All right? We wanted you to cook your orzo, not in water this time. I wanted you to cook it in chicken stock. Why? Because chicken stock flavors your pasta like nothing else. All right, now, I'm going to talk about that. Why is it so important? Barbara, you asked me earlier, yeah. all right, why it was so important to cook it in stock versus because I try a little bit of salt. When I do my, any kind of pasta, I put a little teaspoon of salt in there and then I taste it and it's as bland as bland can be. It and, never has any flavor. And, it, and no matter what, no matter how good your sauce is, yeah. it's still not the way it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Understand clearly, viewers, I want you to remember this. You get one shot at, at seasoning your pasta, and that's, if that water doesn't taste like the ocean, truly, that's where you're doing injustice. <laughs> you know, just like God says, be salt yes. of the earth, all right? So you're going to be salt of the earth when you're with your family, with your friends, with people you don't know, and you're going to remember that when you're making your pasta. Because salt right? adds flavor, that's and we want right. flavor. And the other thing that did when you were cooking with uh, the, the chicken stock is yeah. it the fragrance was just Wasn't wonderful. it the aroma? Yes. It is. Barbara, I have a job for you. Oh, good. I want to show you how Besides important getting my it is. Yes. Steam. <laughs> I want you to take these asparagus and just okay. snap them. Uh -huh. That's your garbage bowl. Put the rest over here because it's going to take not even a minute or so okay. to actually steam these lightly. All right. And while you're doing that, I'm going to make the seasoning. First of all, this recipe has roasted shrimp in it. Mm. Now, you can see I had that prepared. How wonderful to take the shrimp, marinate it. What do you marinate it with? Olive oil, uh -huh. sea salt, um, fresh garlic, arena or whatever you really have. You want to just actually roast it for 50, maybe six or seven minutes, and bring it out and let it come to rest. Okay. Now, I usually I'll add that at the end. But let's talk about one of the most important parts, and that is the dressing. I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful dressing, and we're going to use lalio garlic. Remember, lalio. Lalio. There you yes. I'm, go. I'm learning my Italian today. <laughs> there yes. you go. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. Watch this, Barbara. I want you to take the back of your knife. I want you to smash it. See how simple that is? You're asking me to do that? that no, I'm no. not. Okay, thank <laughs> you. I'm so busy over here on the asparagus. You've got your job. I You're don't doing have time well. for that. All right. Watch this trick. Okay. Not only I flatten that garlic nice and easily, I'm going to 
<gasps> do this. Ooh, sea salt. I actually, it's kosher salt. Kosher salt. And okay. I use kosher salt because most people can season better with the kosher mm -hmm. than they can with sea salt. Some mm -hmm. people tend to over season. It looks like you've done that a few times. Just a few. Am I ready to, uh, yes, to do go this? Go ahead. All is right. that on high? Yeah, it is now. It is. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Put that in there. Make sure it's all touching that water a little at a time here. There okay. you go. Use your hands. God gave us these beautiful hands. It's not hot, you don't have to worry about it. You know what I learned a long time ago right. is that the more we handle things and, and we kind of lose this, <laughs> the feeling in the tips of our fingers. So, yeah, I can almost <laughs> touch boiling water now, almost without really? feeling it. Really? Yes. Well, I mean, You've not heard that before? No. Yeah. No. That's, why, that's why if you ask a man to do this, he'd be, <gasps> ooh, ooh, my that's, fingertips oh, hurt. Yeah. You know, you're probably right. 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 You're yeah. right. They're more sensitive. Or if it's, if it's a man who doesn't cook. Now, if there you go. Chef, I don't mean anything <laughs> by that, but okay. Exactly. Now, you notice the reason I'm doing this, look how Wonderful. Beautiful. How simple it is. Yeah. This is a fabulous way mm -hmm. to mince your garlic. Yes. Your ladio, okay? And it's fresh. Oh my gosh, yes. And Always it use smells fresh. wonderful. Now it's nice and simple. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna put it in this bowl. We're gonna make a beautiful vinaigrette. Now Ladies and gentlemen, this vinaigrette is one that you're going to use for your pasta. You're going to use it for your insalata. Mm -hmm. All right, you're going to mm -hmm. use it as a marinade. So never be afraid to make too much of this. All right, so I've got the um, garlic. You need right olive there. oil? Do you need Please, your olive I oil? I do back? need okay. olive oil. Oh, and before I dirty this, I got to show you, Barbara. Aww. Is this not the cutest? Love people, cook them tasty food. Right, that is an expression of our love when it we cook is. them tasty food. And you are exemplary. You're the greatest example oh. of that, Isabella. Thank you, thank you. But you see, it was. <laughs> An expression of love. A friend gave yes. it to me. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> right. And I absolutely love it. You notice that we don't measure around here. Well, Isabella is okay. just like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You're right. I have to remember this. All right. You're yeah. right. Let me show you. First of all, we're going to make a lemon vinaigrette. Mm. Okay. And Barbara, here, why don't you use these tongs? It'd be a little easier for you. Okay. Okay. I really can't actually use I my fingers. I know. Almost. You... <laughs> but all but right. There I'll you take go. That. Will you make your and vinaigrette? You know what? You really don't need to mess with it. All right. So what happens is if we move things around too much, they mm -hmm. don't tend to caramelize. Oh. They don't get to marry the flavors and okay. so forth. So just remember, just let them just it do its thing. Okay. All right, and you'll be able to see, and you will put them out, and you can put them here. Okay. Now, we're going to make a fabulous vinaigrette. <laughs> okay. Take this limone, limone, Barbara. Limone, limone. You got, yes, it. got it. All right, and I'm going to say, we're going to use two, maybe three, and I'm just going to squeeze this. Mm -hmm. This is the acid. You could do the same thing with red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. You could do the same thing with balsamic. Okay. And let me tell you, don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Ah, let me tell you, this is the, the best antiseptic, you know, when you have, <laughs> when you have, as a matter of fact, I'll give you another tip. Yes. At the end of the day, when I'm cooking, I keep these all at my sink. Ah. And at the end of the day, when we're done cleaning up, I keep them in here, and after I'm done, I just take my hands, and I'm in there just like this again. You know what all I've right? done before? I have thrown this in the, the disposal. garbage disposal, and it cleans it up, yes. It does. It makes it smell great. It does a great yes. job, doesn't it? Two lemons. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. we're going to do two, and sometimes maybe How even three. How are you keeping three. the seeds out? Well, some fall in and okay. some are out. And right. You know what? If it falls in, it's okay. Okay. All right. I'm not concerned. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten a few watermelon seeds in my life. I think I can eat a lemon seed or two. There you go. You see, some of them come out. And another way, just so you know, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Take your knife, just okay. like this. You see that you can also okay. take that lemon juice out. Mm, I wish our viewers could smell. It smells so good. Isn't you can it? smell the asparagus. You have the lemon juice over here, the yeah. garlic, of course. I, I just love it. Mm. Such a great way. So now what we're going to do is once I get this acid in, would you check those? I think they're about done. I didn't or think I had to mess with them. Well, you really Bella. don't, but I just want you to check them. <laughs> I'm Barbara, checking. you know how to check? Checking. The taste. Was, taste. Oh, Just take kind of one taste. and tell me what you think. There you go. Blow, Barbara, blow. <laughs> Mm. Or take a crunchy. There you go. But crunchy, crunchy but done. Mm -hmm. Crunchy but done. Uh -huh. Then take them mm -hmm. out. As a matter of fact, just turn, the, turn it off. Mm. Good. And you know what? Yeah. Go ahead and put them. And then we can just move them off the flame because we're going to chop those up really quickly. Am I quickly. putting these in the orzo yet? No, I'm going to no. show you what to do with those. Okay. okay mm. Make them beautiful. I could eat so, them. That's what I could do. I aren't love they fabulous? Them. Mm -hmm. Now remember, we have the oil. We have the garlic, okay? We have some oregano, mm. dry oregano. If you have okay. fresh oregano, mm -hmm. even better. And you do. You have an herb garden. I've oh been to your gosh, house before. Oh, my gosh, remember? Everything. Jeffy's got, oh, you should see my pomodoro, the beautiful tomatoes growing. Pomodoro. It is. It's beautiful. And eggplant. Mm. And peppers. Love it, love it, love it. How, how 
how do you choose eggplant in the grocery store while you're just working on that? I never know. Does it have, does it have to be soft or hard? No, absolutely nice and firm. firm. You okay. want it to be blemish free. Okay. You want it to look absolutely beautiful. Okay. All right. And if you see all of these marks on there, you're wondering why they have it, you know, marked down two or three times. Uh -huh. I would stay away. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, I never know away. if it's firm or soft because yeah. some things you want soft, some things you want firm, but eggplant. That's exactly firm. that's exactly right. Okay. Now you notice I got these beautiful the grape tomatoes. Are they out of your garden? Uh, no, not these. But they Actually, could be. They, as a matter of fact, my father has them like this, even larger, and they're fabulous. Mm. They're fabulous. You know, Barbara, we always talk about when we're together in Isabella's Bella Cucina that the tools of the kitchen are the tools for life. Yes. Okay. And how important is it, all right, that we learn how to make a great foundation or a great recipe, mm -hmm. all right? Because no matter how good the recipe is, if the ingredients that you put in there, mm -hmm. all right, are not the absolute best. How could you expect the end product to be the absolute best? Do you know best? that I said that just the other day? That's so did funny. You really? I really did. What I said was the hardest part about cooking is going to the market and finding the right foods. Yeah. Once you have all of those fresh fruits and vegetables in your home, yeah. cooking is no big deal. The big deal is grocery shopping. It, for I me. agree. You know? I, I agree, you know? And that's why I send Jeffy. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and all of you need a Jeffy. Yeah, that's right. right. A sweet husband that does so everything for you. Oh, You're he, very, very blessed. I am. And then indeed. again, he's pretty blessed too to be able to eat Aww. all this wonderful stuff. Stuff. Well, I do feed him well. Yes, I gotta you tell do. you. you do. If you I feed can, us well here. I, if I can't entice him with anything else, <laughs> food is the way to go. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Keeps them from All being right. grumpy. We know there that. There you go. Absolutely. You always know when they're hungry. That's right. right. That's so, right. So you know what? Most important thing that we need to do with the dressing is first of all taste it. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm one that says, you know, you can taste it with the spoon, but I'm not real keen on tasting vinaigrettes with the spoon. Yeah. I take a piece of lettuce. Okay. I take some here. So we have a pomodoro. Let's okay. grab a pomodoro. All right. All right. And I'm just gonna put that in there. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Needs a little more solid. Okay. I was going to say it's not quite salty enough. There How you go. That? Needs a little more solid. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And actually, Woo. a little more olive oil. Well, we better taste that again. Yeah. Make sure that's okay. That's a good, that's a good line, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Get in there. <laughs> but Barbara, I need to whisk it, sweetheart. I'm there whisking you go. it with my tomato. There you go. See how nice and easy it is? Better. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now, Good. of course, you know me, I love a little kick. Mm, I forgot about the kick. That's what the kick cayenne. is. Cayenne, cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Yep, because cayenne pepper is so much healthier for you. Now, how long would this last in the refrigerator? I know oh, at your house has, and mine, not long. It but. has a great shelf life. Okay. I mean, you can make a vinaigrette and keep it in there for weeks, truly. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So this is what I want you to do, Barbara. Okay. I want you to take this vinaigrette and I want you to pour it on the oh, pasta. Okay. The whole thing. So this is not going to last in the refrigerator very long. Uh, well, not in this house. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice I made an oven, probably a little extra. All right. So now watch how we're going to put this together so simply. How's that coming? I think I better taste it to be sure it's okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you go Just right to make ahead. sure. Our hands are clean. All right, Barbara, you know what you want to do? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 it's good, uh -huh. yeah. Why don't you bring mm. that bowl over, please? You know please. what you don't have is any vinegar, what? and yet you don't need vinegar. No, because you replace that vinegar with the, with with the lemon. Absolutely. Limone. With the limon. Mm. Limone. Okay, so Barbara, you know what? I'm going to take these. One more. Can I have the tongs, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to switch. I want you to throw these into the bowl. All right, you can With go ahead. Hands. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. A little onion, a little pomodoro. Cipollini, remember? Cipollini, yeah. Cipollini. <laughs> Cipollini are scallions. Scallions, okay. And by the way, use the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's take this. This is looking good. It is. Barbara. You know, I read a long time ago that the more color you have on in, in any kind of dish, in any meal, the better it is going to be for you. It's healthier. So Absolutely. we have green, we have yellow, and we have red so far. Now, watch this. I'm going to take these beautiful as mm. asparagus, yes. asparagus, and I'm going to take them and cut them on the bias. Okay. And in the meantime, Barbara, take that shrimp, if you would, mm -hmm. toss it in. Now, you, I noticed you left the tails on. I it's okay sure to do it? We can eat the tail? Oh, well, I Well, slipped. maybe not that tail. Not that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I did. I thought I had that I actually off. thought this was a new thing that we did that was okay to do. It's okay. You know, many meals are okay. served, okay, with the tail, but not this one. Not now, that. Barbara, gently stir that again for me. Watch what we're going to do. Cut this on the bias. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, isn't that fabulous? Beautiful. Is that not the, the, the beautiful now, Italian flag? Now, I can flag? see I never know what to take to somebody's house. This would be a beautiful dish that would just kind of blow everybody away if you take this to their home Let when you're invited you. for a little covered dish dinner. Oh, are you kidding? And then you're going to refrigerate this at some point. You want you it cold. You actually want it to marinate. No, you don't want it cold. Oh, you don't you want, want it cold. It, you actually want that to marinate at least for an hour. 
Now, the most important things, Barbara, we're forgetting are the herbs. Okay. I want the herbs, but before I do that, I want to chop up a little bit of red onion. But we have onion in here, scallions. We do. We okay, have but scallions. We want more. But red onion and scallions <laughs> have a different flavor. Okay. They really do. And okay. I don't like the, the pungent of the Well, that will be. Scallion. Red onion's pretty strong. It right? is strong, but you okay. notice we're not putting a lot in there. And you don't have to use any of it. You can kind of custom make it to it oh, however you like it, right? Not only. Oh, you that don't does have make to it use, pretty purple. You have to have don't purple. have to use anything in here that beautiful. you don't like. Right. That is beautiful. Now, here we go. Viewers, take, are you seeing this? It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, what did I do? I take this beautiful basilico. Say, oh, Bas Basilico? Basilico. 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 Remember, that's how the uh, Calabrese say it. The people from Calabria. All right. But the real way to mm. say it is mm. basilico. Basilico. But if you go around talking to anybody in this town and you say, oh, I love the basilico, they're going to say, oh, you know Isabella. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> that's right. Isabella taught me how to say it the Calabrese way. Yes. Barbara, look how amazing this is. And the this fresh parsley. herb. That's yes. Okay. It's pretzel, fresh parsley. Okay. Now, may I? Yes, please. Now, Barbara, may I have that plate there? I want you to see how incredible this dish is right now. Fresh herbs. Oh, my God. The herbs are just amazing. Barbara, if you were to serve this on a platter, I would put it on a bed of arugula. Okay. And then put this on the top. Okay, okay my dear. This is like a whole meal. Don't it, it is a whole meal. Yes. It absolutely is. You have all the protein. See the nutrients that you Beautiful. have in here. You know, just amazing. I want to try one of these asparagus pieces. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, a forqueta, a fork for you. I feel like we need to pray. Thank you, yes. Lord, for this beautiful meal. Amen and amen. <laughs> all right, now, let's mangias, do it. Now, as they say in Italiano. Try this. What do you say? Bon appetit? Mm. Bon appetito. Tell me. Delicious. Do you see how light mm -hmm. it is? Do you mm -hmm. see how aromatic it mm -hmm. becomes with the fresh herbs? Delicious. Mm. The pomodoro. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut that shrimp. Now, let's talk about something. Barbara, we have some very... Um, crunchy. The crunchy is the um, asparagus, right? Yes, it is. Mm. The asparagus, is the, that's the important part. Let's taste the shrimp. Mmm. It's fabulous. You roasted the shrimp with garlic? Olive oil, garlic, mm. salt, a mm. little pepper. Isn't it wonderful? Tender, delicious. Absolutely. We're going to have to take a break. We will. When we come back, we're going to have more with Elis Isabella sharing great ideas from her cookbook, What Shall I Bring? Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back, viewers, to The Good Life. Today, our special guest is Chef Isabella Morgia de Vicari, who is also the author of the cookbook, What Can I Bring? And we have gone from the kitchen over here to the set, and we brought our food with us, and it is so delicious. Isabella, I was talking to you when we were walking over that lemon flavor just does something to that vinaigrette makes it so good and and the key is knowing the right portions okay people have such a hard time making yeah. their own vinaigrette mm -hmm. they resort to all the stuff in the in the bottles that you can buy in the bottle when everything you have truly is in your house that's right simple red wine vinegar mm -hmm. doesn't have to be any imported stuff yeah. you know just buy the best olive oil that your money can buy i will say that to you don't skimp on the olive oil mm -hmm. okay but on everything else you can buy whatever you have so if you don't even have anything to use lemon as your your acid and see how beautiful it is oh it is wonderful and i love the crunch of the asparagus and the onion and i don't know where you get such great shrimp but that is the shrimp was great as thank well. you so thank and, you for bringing oh, you're that. very very well i just got it at the grocery store okay everything that i bought here you yeah. can buy in any grocery store okay, you don't have to go to a special seafood market not got, at all you okay. can buy this wherever you shop and i mean wherever you shop you can find this and you're going to love this now you see how elegant this dish really is yeah imagine having a, a woman's luncheon mm -hmm. all right women would go crazy over right, this. Right. Let me tell you, men go crazy over mm -hmm. this. I brought this to our family's picnic on the beach. <laughs> all right? And the men were, oh my gosh, yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And especially, remember I said how beautiful it is to have, not have an ounce of mayonnaise in this thing. Exactly. You think of pasta salads and you think of mayonnaise. Get rid of that thought yeah. because nothing tastes better than a fabulous homemade vinaigrette. And there's that's also the thing about olive oil. You know, olive oil really is 
good for us. It absolutely when, is. When we went to Israel a couple of years ago, our tour guide was an Israeli man in his 70s, and he told us that every single morning he drank a cap full of olive oil, straight olive oil. Well, he had skin like a baby. Silk-like. It was silk-like, yeah. and I really have to attribute that. And he was out in the sun all the time leading yes. tours, but his skin looked great. I really believe it was maybe some genetics in there too, but it might have had something to do with the olive oil. I am a firm believer. My nona yeah. the same way. And my nona never used anything wow. on the, her face. I mean, never an ounce of makeup at all. All right. And no moisturizer, no facial treatment. It was literally the olive yeah. oil. Yeah. All I'm right. a believer and in just, it. Isabella, it is. you told us that there is a way to make this dish a little more affordable because there are some ingredients in here that might be kind of costly, like the shrimp and the asparagus. So exactly. What can we do? What's some alternate ingredients? Well, just think about taking this recipe and making it the base for so many others. Okay. Now, let's talk about what we can substitute it with. Let's take the asparagus, excuse me, the um, shrimp out and we're going to um, substitute it with albacore tuna, albacore tuna in a can. And that's All healthy, right? good for it, you. Oh, right? it absolutely is. Just like the omega-3s here, mm -hmm. you have them in the tuna as well. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do the oil those. and everything from the tuna or do you try to drain no, it? No, actually I use albacore tuna in a can in water. Spring water. Yes, okay. in water. Okay. So we have to drain that, of course. All right. All right, and you'll just throw it in just okay. like you threw the um, beautiful shrimp in. How about asparagus? Asparagus tends to be a little pricier as well. Right. So let's say you don't have asparagus. So let's say it's not in your budget. Well, you know what? You can buy a can of chickpeas. Chickpeas are huge today. The incredible protein and fiber. There's a lot of protein in this dish. Mm -hmm. All right, which is wonderful. How about string beans? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't buy the fresh, I, I'm going to tell you don't buy the can, but buy frozen. Mm -hmm. All right. Frozen is much healthier for you as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can substitute it in here. Because they're not soaking in the salt That's water. That's exactly right? it. And yeah. they don't have the preservatives mm -hmm. like things that are in a can or bottled. Mm -hmm. All right. So, how wonderful is this to take this somewhere and again Barbara this has such incredible shelf life yeah. now let's say you don't want you don't want any seafood whatsoever get a beautiful piece of chicken all right and you're gonna roast it you're gonna oh, okay. pan fry it yeah. any way you'd like right. cut it up in chunks and put it in there you can do anything with this dish right and the most important thing Barbara is to do it your way exactly I want to teach you the foundation of this great recipe and then I'm gonna have you go in your house go in your refrigerator see what we have and watch you create this amazing meal Let's talk about the orzo for just a minute, because yes. I truthfully had not heard of orzo until maybe five years ago. Never heard of that. Looks like a little rice kernel. It does. Why are you using orzo? And could you use another kind of pasta? Because orzo is a little more expensive than some pastas, right? It's not, actually, orzo really no? isn't that much okay. more expensive. And it, this orzo is really what you need for this ensalada, for okay. this salad. The other pastas are heavier. Yes, they now, are. Now, remember, we want this to be light. Yes. We want it to be very flavorful. And again, Barbara, I want to teach your view is to step out of the box <laughs> all right let you know i love penne pasta yeah. i love rotini i love the ravioli all of that but not for this dish okay it is worth using the orzo here. that makes sense it, it and that orzo we had two cups of orzo look how much we made yeah that feeds a lot of people uh, exactly now you it said really that can. we needed to eat this warm and it is a little bit warm but i would not be averse to putting it in the refrigerator and eating on it for two or three days oh, i like no. cold, oh, cold pasta absolutely what i meant is i want you as soon as you're done making this, I want you to marinate it in the refrigerator for okay. about an hour before okay. you serve it. I, because I you gotcha. want those flavors all to come together. Yes. And to find their own spot in that dish. Okay. All right. With all those fresh herbs. Then when you serve it, you just take it out. Mm -hmm. or you can serve it then or you can let it sit on the counter. Either way it works. But Great. absolutely. Well, it is absolutely delicious. Now you have a cookbook. Our viewers are going to want to know about your cookbook. Tell us about that. Of course. It's called What Can I Bring? Again, <laughs> you know how important it is yes. you know, to, to show someone how much you really care for them how much you just are so thankful. You know, thank you for inviting us over to your home. It means so much, all right? Well, instead of bringing the, the candy or the flowers or the chocolates or the vino, whatever it is, all right, make them something mm. and make them something that they're going to remember. And you see how simple it is? Well, it took us, what, all of 10 minutes to make that? I mean, it really was, ex yeah. Absolutely. And I go back to my theory. The yes. hardest part is going out and getting the ingredients, making sure they're fresh and good. But once you have all those ingredients in your home, that was a 10-minute deal. I mean, realistically, you know? 
and it goes a long way. Yes. It's a last minute deal. Right. You don't know what to bring. You don't know what to make. There it is. We make this wonderful orzo insalata. And there's so many dishes in my cookbook mm -hmm. that I talk about. But you see, as you've heard me say time and time again, that our cookbook is about bringing the family back to the table. Yes. Barbara, remember my mission statement I wanted to share with you? Tell me Can I share statement. it with yes. your viewers? Because yes. I want them to know the heart of who we are, yes. all right, and what we do and what we bring. Every time we, we meet with you, it's Isabella's Bella Cucina, bringing the, actually bringing the familia back to the table, one person at a time, one familia at a time, one corporation at a time, and one America. And it's time to get America back to that table. <laughs> Amen. All right, would you not agree? Amen. There Let's get go. the family back eating together and yeah. talking together and cooking together. And you're going to want to get in touch with Isabella. And if you do, her contact information is Isabella. Isabella's Bella Cucina. Her website is foodwithpassion.com. Her telephone number is on the screen for you, 407-267-6033. And you can email Isabella and she will write you back. Isabella at foodwithpassion.com. We thank you again, Isabella, so much for being here with us. Our resident chef, Grazie. Italian chef, you are <laughs> so wonderful. Thank you and God bless you. Uh, thank you. I love being here with you. Well, continue to do the great work that you're doing. Isabella is all about connecting families and making sure that we eat together. Get those teenagers in the kitchen with you. They're oh, going to yeah. love that. Their husbands and wives one day will thank you for that as well. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to be in the kitchen with your loved ones. And then, of course, eating. That's the coup de grace. We all love to eat together. So what a wonderful program today to encourage you to eat with your families, pray together, talk about things that are heavy on your heart, and, and have fun together. And this was a great light and nutritious meal. Well, viewers, if you would like for somebody to pray with you, we want you to feel good about calling us at the station, or there's a connection helpline that can help you right away, 1-800-884-0585. But believe me, we are always available here at Good Life Broadcasting. 31 Skyline Drive is our address, Lake Mary, Florida, 32746. Write to us. We'll write you back. Call us. We'll talk to you on the phone. We'll pray with you. You can email us at info at tv45.org. And one more place that we would refer you to is our website, goodlife45.org. You can go to our website and find this program with Isabella and you can send it to someone anywhere in the country that you say, golly, my friend out in California needs to know about this recipe, needs to know about Isabella. Go to our website and you can send this program to them. You can also find a place where you can support our ministry here at Good Life 45. We need your prayer support, but we always need your financial support. And let me just take this minute to let you know how much we love and appreciate all of you who continue to give. There's so many of you who are faithful about giving every single month to us. That means a lot to us, and that's why we can continue to bring you the very best in Christian and family programming. Please do continue to do that as the Lord leads. And finally, viewers, we have a scripture to encourage you in your walk with the Lord. It comes from Proverbs 17, verse 22, which says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. We don't want you to have a crushed spirit. We want you to know the Lord, to uh, have a great family with lots of love around the table, and most of all, to have that close, intimate relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Good Life, and until next time, we hope to see you again right back here on The Good Life. Bye-bye, and God bless. <music>